Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Today I wanted to talk about something that Dave Mustaine said at the uh, concert last night in Tucson, Arizona. So, I was at the concert. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. I loved it. It was a fucking blast. I had not been to a concert in several years. I think the last concert I went to was with my dad and I was probably nine years old. It was in like an event Sevenfold concert. Um, oh jeez, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Very long day. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night too, and it's eight. It's eight o'clock at night, um, so pretty tired. But so basically, Dave uh, came on stage, and before we get into this, I just want to say I don't give a fuck about what he said. I'm not. I I don't care. Honestly, I thought it was fucking hilarious because I don't care if it's you know real or not. I thought it was fucking funny. I don't give a shit. I just don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal to think over and question, oh my god, oh no, I can't believe you said that, because it's not. And I think people need to chill the fuck out, because there's already articles about this. There's people in comment sections on a, a video of it being recorded, and people are like, oh, I don't like this, and do 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 You can have your opinion, okay, whatever, but... It's not that big of a deal, so chill out. Anyway, we're going to get into it. Basically, Dave said he pissed in the bathroom on the floor uh, in the White House bathroom back, uh, like, well, 1992, I think. <laughs> so, uh, this, that's 30 years ago, okay? 30 years ago. So, who the fuck cares if Dave Mustaine pissed on the White House bathroom floor 30 years ago? In case you didn't notice, Ozzy Osbourne pissed on the Alamo. Okay, and that was a long-ass fucking time ago, too. So, uh, who fucking cares? Another thing I want to say is I think people are blowing this up out of context because... Dave Mustaine is a kind of person to get a lot of negative attention because he says things that upset people. And honestly, I think Dave a lot of times is just misunderstood and has a lot of people who are very biased and who are against him about a lot of shit he says. And quite frankly, I do believe he respects and loves this country because you know he, he wouldn't be where he is uh, in another country you know what I mean like I, I really really believe he loves our country I do you know uh, and you know what it, what he makes about you know his music or whatever and things he says it's not that big of a deal. There's more important things to be worrying about. You know. So, anyway, I, I want to try to put some context into this because I think with what he says, I don't think he's using this as a way to be like, yeah, I'm edgy. I think he's saying this as it's something he probably regrets. And he was just joking about it. You know, making a, you know, like a little haha -ha. you know it's something stupid and he's laughing about it because he says i want you guys to know that i've lived through a lot of different eras in the united states and seen different things and one thing that makes me the most proud of everything here in our country is you guys the way you are handling yourselves and the way that as the oh, the way you're handling yourselves and the way as the metal community uh it, it's typed a little weird because he, he says, um, what he's actually saying is, like, the way you guys are handling yourselves and the way you're handling the metal community is, I think, what he's trying to say. And I think what he's saying with this is that years ago, when he pissed, quote-unquote, pissed in the White House bathroom, whether it's true or not, um, this was a different era of, you know metal and rock that was very very rebellious and crazy and did a lot of shit you know I'm not gonna deny that 
that shit happened in the 80s and 90s. You know, there, there was some crazy shit. You know, there was fucking punk rockers and shit doing wacky stuff. You know, breaking shit, whatever. You know, like... I mean, for him to say that, it just... It hit me personally because... I think the metal community right now is very, very, very respectful and very, very chill. I can't tell you how many people I met yesterday who I felt like I knew for years. And I've never seen these people or met these people in my life. I could go up to them, ask them how their, you know, day's going and be like, hey man, are you are you excited for the show? You know, you know, who are you here to see? Who do you want to, you know, what songs you want to listen to? Or what songs you, are you excited to hear? And everybody was cool. Like, even the drunk dudes. Everybody was fucking cool as hell. And as a kid going to concerts, it was always pretty intimidating because I'm so small and you have a giant crowd of people and shit. You know, and like, coming back years later. I, so I was nine years old, I think, my last concert I went to with my dad. I'm 24 years old now, so it's been a very fucking long time since I've been to a concert. Um, and, you know, being back out here and being around so many people that listen to the same music and, you know, we're all like a giant family. We all really feel the same about a lot of things. And for me, I think especially now a lot of modern rock and metal talks a lot about people who are struggling and people who don't have a voice i mean people who are fucking everyday people i'm talking about people who work hard and are living paycheck to paycheck and you know can barely get by you know i think that's what a lot of these guys are talking about now and a lot of the stupid bullshit going on in the media is another thing too because there's a lot of that shit going on and there's a lot of fucking cancel culture and shit and uh this whole article and everything i'm talking about right now is a perfect fucking example of it uh they're gonna try to say that oh dave mustaine pissed in the white house bathroom and he needs to be canceled like people are fucking stupid dude um Anyway, so, yeah, you know, he he says, uh, I'm proud to know, or uh, I, and I want you guys to know how proud I am Hi. Uh, to represent you. And then he says, when I went up to the White House, I was so proud to be able to go up there and say, fuck you. You think we're stupid? We're not stupid. You know, and... Uh, I think that, for me, that says a lot because, you know, there's a lot of people in the metal community who work hard and are treated like shit, you know, and a lot of our music, yes, does sound angry and shit, but it's like, it helps us relieve that kind of emotion and that, like, there's there's a lot of power in, in metal and, and rock music that I think... A lot of people are turned off by because they think, oh, we're just talking about hell and the devil and Satan and war and just death and destruction. But no, it's like there's a lot of music that you can, if you listen to it, you can actually understand that there's stories and, and, and things being talked about that are, you know, very serious that happen to everyday people. And, uh, you know, um, I think that's important for people to know and realize. And, um, you know, I think with what I'm about to read now, which Dave says, by the way, when I went into the White House, I went into the royal, whatever the fuck it's called, White House bathroom, and I peed on the floor. I had to do it. I had to do it. Now, here's the thing. In the video, he's he's laughing about it. He's not like, yeah, guys, I fucking pissed in the fucking White House bathroom. I'm so fucking cool. Like, it was it was a joke. He was making a joke about it, you know. And it's like it's not that serious. It's really not that serious. And you know, uh, I think he's just talking about something embarrassing that he did, 
and when he said I'm proud of how you guys are acting he's saying like don't piss in the White House bathroom like I did 30 years ago because I did that you know so I mean people are going to take it into different contexts and things like that but honestly I think he was just fucking around and even if he you know even if he pissed in, in the White House bathroom it's not a big deal it's not it happened 30 goddamn years ago get the fuck over it Dave Mustaine's a 60 year old man what we're gonna put him in jail cause he pissed in the White House bathroom there's people that are doing worse things in this country right now that are being a that are being appraised for it you know we have buildings being burned down we have people getting robbed there's homeless people on the street who are being ignored every day you know it there is so much shit going on in our country and the rest of the world and dave mustaine pissing in a bathroom that happened to be in the white house 30 years ago you know it's not important so um honestly i i thought what he said was fucking hilarious i thought it was funny as shit because i don't fucking care i don't care you know um and if you think i should care well guess what i don't and i don't fucking give a shit you need to grow up because i know how to understand a fucking joke so fuck you um anyway yeah, about the concert though, uh, that was incredible. Everybody there, everybody who played did such a great job. My little sister got a pick from uh, the lead singer of Lamb of God, and uh, it was pretty cool. That was her first concert too, so um, it was really neat. And, um, you know, I, I love Dave Mustaine, and I love Megadeth, and I love their music and uh you know i hope which i don't think anything's gonna happen to dave honestly and i i really doubt this is gonna get ridiculous but i know there are some people out there that obviously have an agenda to fucking hate dave mustaine and uh you know they're gonna use this as fucking fuel so um you know what who cares you know like get over it if it's true that he pissed in the white house bathroom who cares you know it's not that big of a deal so anyways um i want to thank you guys for watching and uh i will see you all next time bye bye